Good morning, everybody. Today is day 294. It is November 25th, 2023. It is Saturday. I cannot believe it is Saturday again already, you guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I wasn't going to record today, but I just decided to go ahead since I'm going to walk anyway. Um, so I have been searching around for this flag. You guys know they are just, they on their game this year, right, you guys? I'm like, I know it's what... I don't know, maiden season or something, but I wish they would go somewhere. Um, have a party or something. I don't know. <laughs> you probably take a fight to have a party, Lori. Um, yes, I know. But I'm just saying, anywhere other than right now. Okay, so I don't see where it went, um, but I have to go ahead and get started. And I see it floating around. You guys, I'm not going to lie. I put oil in my hair today, and so I'm figuring that's what it is. I put the bio silk, and I put um, that... I can't think of what it's called, the Moroccan oil, the argan oil. Um, I think one's the brand, one's the type of oil in my hair with the color protection. And so I think that's what it's smelling. Um, it took me like 20 minutes to put my hair up, you guys. It just did not want to blow up these frizzes in my hair are not playing with me today. Um, but I said, this is not a fashion show. I'm trying to get out here and walk and get back here and do everything else that I have to do. And the reason why I decided to go ahead and record today was because I said, you know what, this is just going to be like a car week, a car month, really. I've been talking to you guys about different things about uh, my new vehicle, which is the new Max, right? Kept the name, got rid of the car. Didn't want a third car, but we ended up needing it, so uh, that's what took place. And so I've been doing all types of different things. You know, like I said, Amazon is your one-stop shop for everything. Car seat covers, seat belt covers, steering wheel covers, you name it, you can pretty much get there. Floor mats for your car. Um, very interestingly so, I found a set that was fit for possibly an older model Atlas, I'm not sure, but um, it just so happens that they fit. And then like this other person said, that did a review on them. They were swapping out their floor mats. They said that the passenger seat at one point in time or that side must have had those little snaps when you can snap them on because there's things to snap them down. But on the passenger side of the cross sports, at least the one that we have, there are no things to snap to. So um, yeah, I'm not quite sure. Oh, I am at 15. Okay, so I've been pushing the treadmill to speed two all week. Um, I think I was telling you guys I need to because my weight is just, I don't know, I know there's other factors, it's what you eat, it's a lot of different things, muscle outweighs fat, things like that, you know, so, um, but yes, I figure if I keep it a consistent speed, then maybe I can start to go down again because I weighed myself, I think yesterday, the day before, 159.3, you guys, I am teetering in between um, 1.9, or actually, I'm sorry, that would be, let's see, 159 point something, 157 point something. I, that 156.3, I just can't seem to even get back to that. So uh, I am trying. And then you guys know this week was supposed to be an off week, the whole week. So um, let's see if I can get this up to two, it's up to one. And um, if we have time, we'll go over the week, just like, you know, what time I walk and things like that. You guys know I usually do a recap of the week toward the end of the video um but yeah today student will cover is supposed to come you guys i'm so impatient with packages you guys know and especially like when they're coming from overseas um eventually if it's going to go to the post office it ends up with the post office tracking number sometimes they provide it sometimes they don't so tracking just jumped and it was like hey and i was like surprise surprise you know i was hoping that it would come by the end of this week so um yes still no nails yes i'm still on my six month or at least three month journey and um not a choice you guys know got that infection so uh it's cleared up everything is all good but i still have to wait till i see the doctor so um yeah i still gotta wait two three something more weeks um can't say i'm used to it i just hurt my thumb coming out into the garage just now and so I thought what if you had a nail in there that would have hurt and I thought if I had a nail in there I probably wouldn't have hit it the way I did so you never know um I seriously do not feel like fighting this thing today to get it up to two but let me go ahead oh that's slippery okay that's not gonna be smart to hold on to 
Okay, so is that 1.5? I've been able to get it up to two uh, before four minutes, and we're at four minutes right now. And I've been kind of talking to you guys. Um, but I'm gonna see if I can, because you guys, I have to drop these last 10 pounds. Like, oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. Um, now, obviously, I will probably end up kind of going back and forth and I see it. Of course, it will wait until I'm up here, right? Fly swatters over there. But I do have my towel. Um, and unfortunately for it, I've gotten a little accurate with the towel. So yes, then of course, after that, it's, I don't want to use the towel. But I mean, at least I'll have something buzzing around my ear. Because I mean, I came in here no more than five minutes and was like, buzz, buzz, buzz all my ear and I'm thinking the oil you put in your hair plus uh, flies are pests right okay so let's see if this thing goes back down I promise it has not been doing that for the past two to three days we have one more let's give it a couple seconds we're at five minutes okay so it's up to two I'm gonna leave it alone. You guys know I was trying to get it higher. I think 2.6 is the highest that I could get it, and then it just messes up, so I don't feel like fighting it anymore. Um, I'm just gonna leave the title the same. I know I'm like consistently at two, usually, but um, yes, I don't feel like messing with my title to my videos anymore. Okay, so let's get this prepped. Even though what we're gonna start with, like I said, some car stuff, um, it's not the notes the weekly review is. Okay, so yes, like I said, serial cover is supposed to come today and should be a little easier to put it on. Um, it did not say it specifically fit my car and so I'm hoping that it does. Okay, so I'm really hoping it's at least 15 inches. Um, 14 and a half to 15 might be kind of cutting it close. I have that D-shaped steering wheel, so we'll see. Um, also, so I was looking online and it just popped up on Amazon. It's a little cover for the gear shift. It's a little hoodie, you guys. It's so cute. Okay, so we were sitting in the living room and I showed my husband, said, oh, look, look at how cute. And he was like, he knows I don't like surprises, but he wanted to surprise me. He said, I already ordered you one. He said, no, you didn't. And he was like, yes, I did. And um, I said, where from? And he didn't know the name of the company, but he said, see, it says it's shipped already. And so I said, like, you didn't get it from Amazon? Come on, now we have Prime, right? You guys know, like I said, him about my packages. And so um, it turned out he had. And I was scrolling through, looking just to see what else they had, because I think it's just a plain black one, which I mean, kind of goes with everything else, right? You guys know if you've seen some of the, uh, before or the before video right like I said I did not record it initially for that reason but of the interior it has like that peanut butter or light peanut butter and that uh was supposed to be black but it's like a charcoal gray I don't know off black or something whole interior thing going on with it and so um I thought that'll go and the mats that were like four days later something like that um they're just plain. And so I thought, okay, but they have like a full coverage thing going on. And so maybe if I remember, I'll put the name of the company because it's something that I'm not gonna remember up here. Um, no, no, I know it's 3D something, but it's a company that makes them. Um, let me think for a second. I might be able to, if I can picture the letters, I might be able to tell you guys what it is. Let me think. Mm. No, that's the name of the camera company, you'll see. Uh, let's see, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. That's a whole different company. It's not Kagoa. I can't remember K-A-G-U-A or something like that. It'll be in the description box. Now I have to put it in there because I can't remember. I just told you guys I would, so I will. Um, I would have to say, like I said, the fit is about as close as it can get. And then the back, like the, for the second row, 
I don't have a third row. So for the second row, the middle piece is not as wide this way as I thought, but that's okay because I would have to say, at least when I was first buying car floor mats, often at times I didn't really think about the middle. Um, I think every now and then I thought, oh, it would be nice if they had something that covered it, but usually it's like, what, a four-piece set, right? And so usually there's no covers for the middle, but the covers that it provides, I'm happy with. And for some reason, it kind of feels like that back seat space is starting to be less and less. And in the cross sports, the ones that have the, only the two rows, um, they have a lot of space in the back. So I don't know why it's starting to look like there's less. Um, I haven't adjusted my seat too much. And you know, my test for me is I have long legs. So I sit in the back and see how comfortable I am. Um, I just don't like feeling squished up inside of a vehicle. And it's not very often I'm in the back seat. But I don't know why. For some reason, it looks like it's shrinking. I know it's not possible, but it does look like that. Maybe because the seat covers are on there now. I don't know. But the seat covers are so fitted, at least to the front, you kind of, I don't know, you kind of can't tell that they don't go. Like they didn't come like that from the factory. So I'll see. Maybe I'll do a test today and just get in and sit down. No adjustments. Um, but yeah. So... Uh, back to the little gear shift cover, it's a hoodie, and I found some with some dragons on them, and so I couldn't resist. And then I found one, it was so cute, the material is really nice. I don't think that's velvet, but it reminds me of that. It has like a little pocket thing in the front, just like the one with the dragons, but um, it's the material, it's the attention to detail that I like about it. It's a little small for the gear shift cover, but... We're going to use it for a different vehicle and see if it works. Um, but yeah, they even have like the little, like these, the strings. I don't know what you want to call these drawstrings. And um, they're so cute. They're really, really teeny. And I know there was one that I ordered of the two. And my husband was telling me that a little miniature puppy could fit inside of it. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know. Maybe the one with the dragons because it has a little bit more stretch. And the material is, uh, has a little bit more give overall. It's like a stretchy material versus the other one where maybe it has some type of lycra or something in spandex, but it's not specifically that material, you know? So, um, plus I guess it's small overall. I think it's just made smaller. That's the one that he said to fit. And I'm going to tell you guys, it would have to be a pretty small puppy to fit in there. But you never know. Um, so maybe what I'll do is... Since I mentioned both of them, I'll go ahead and put the uh, link to both of them in the description box as well. Okay, because the one with the dragons, they have other little pictures on them. Um, and they also sell them in a set. So I think they have like a double set, different pictures, and then they have triple sets. Um, I do that, I think they have a double set of a Christmas one and uh, some other things. So just check it out, see what they have to offer. Um, different companies have started to make them. I don't know, they've become a thing. I don't want to say overnight, but I don't know why it popped up, but it just did. I'm glad that it did. And what were the odds that he had already ordered me one? So, um, yeah. But the stitching was going to be a little off for color. And he was like, well, it wasn't a lot. So, we'll see. I'm interested to see what kind of material the other one's made out of, and I probably won't be able to tell exactly, but just to compare. Um, so yeah, because sadly to say, the all black one that I ordered, it ripped already. So yeah, that's why I said, it's a little big for the gear shift before a cross sport, but the material is so pretty. And um, it even has like, this piece here is, um, I wanna say it has like little lines to go down around it like it's really well thought out it's very very well made um they didn't just all pick one type of pattern or a type of what would you call that um flat versus ridges or something they actually put some thought into this okay so i really wish it was bigger and that it hadn't ripped but it didn't work to the point to where you could probably tell it's just that since i was putting it on i could see it and so yeah hood area right here but something unique, um, 
Most of them show them with the little hands in the pocket. The front's like that pouch pocket. So on all of them I've seen, none of them I've seen with just regular pockets. And they show them with the little hands in there. If you're adjusting, the hands are going to probably come out unless you put something in there to make it stick. Um, I would say if you really, really like the in the pocket look, get tweezers. Okay, but be careful. Um, because then you might find out the material might be a little more fragile than what you thought. It may not have as much stretch as you thought. So, um, yeah. But it should just be like a nice little tuck in. And so, maybe you can do it with the end of the tweezers that's not sharp. So, yeah. But, got that going on. That's already in there. And I think I was thinking, once the serum bowl covers, it's complete. Everything's in there that needs to be in there. Now I can just drive it and enjoy it and get to know the vehicle. Um, I'm used to Volkswagen's, but I've never had Volkswagen SUV, so we'll see. Let's do a time check, let's do a water break, and uh, let me see if there's more car stuff. Right, because I, I know I said I might get, but I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay, so we're at 15 minutes, 15 seconds. Okay, put this down in here. Um, that was the latest thing was that little hoodie. And uh, they have one with like a little eagle on it. He has like a little mean face he's making. So funny. And there's one, it's black with pink writing. I think it says you are enough. So um, some of them have like some motivational messages on them and stuff like that. So I thought it was really unique. Um, some have that tie-dye on there, and uh, I think I saw those sold separately and in a set and stuff like that. So you just kind of like have to look around and see. Um, but like I said, the all black one that you're going to see in the description box may not fit. Yeah, it may not fit your gear shifting, or you may not be able to pull it, pull it down as far as you want it. Okay, but like I said, the material is really pretty. So... Um, $3.99, I mean, you can't beat it, right? Um, I don't think I've done anything else. I messed up on the license plate. It had came, I was happy, and I was about to move it on. There was like this big white dot. I don't know if I told you guys about this. Like over the eye. Um, in Maximus, right? And so my husband was like, oh, you're gonna have to have them make it over and tell them like, hey, what happened? So it just so happened, I looked back at all the other license plates. You know, I've had, I think, this would have been the third one with that name on the right, and the picture that I like to use, all of them had that white circle. It just wasn't as big, I never noticed it. So I thought, yes, I'm impatient, but it's gonna come when it comes. I had to go in and I had to edit. So I edited out the little white circle, um, I edited out the hand. You can see the hand where he was holding the helmet. I took that out. And so that already came. That went on there. And uh, new license plate cover. Um, I had ordered it before, but I sent it back. I think I told you guys about that last week. But I did decide to keep it. It's growing on me. You know, when you do a majority clone delete on your vehicle and almost everything is murdered out, right? You see something that's not the headlights, unless you do that too, and you do it as dark as the rest of everything else. And you see anything with chrome on it, and you're like, well, that's a good purpose because I murdered out almost my entire vehicle, right? Or I did murder out the whole vehicle, tail lights, tail lights, everything, right? I didn't go for the smoke look like I really went for it. And so, even though I really, really like dragons, and um, it was supposed to be a, a griffin. I think that's a griffin on his shield, right? On the gladiator's, uh, not shield, what do you call that? The breastplate thingy? And so, um, his armor. And then, everyone talked about he had a horse, right? And so, couldn't find the griffin thing until now. License plate was something completely different, but I couldn't go away from the front armor piece. I just love it, like it too much, the helmet, everything. So, um, I just went ahead with that again. And I'm um, really nice writing. And so I thought, well, 
might as well keep it going, but I am curious to see what it would look like if the dragons weren't chrome. And there's like a little sun or something in the middle. I don't know what that is, but if that wasn't chrome too. And you know me, I'm debating on painting it myself, and I don't know. Because if I don't like it, I'd have to order it again. And it's going to be back in chrome, right? The dragons in the sun. So uh, we'll see now that I can uh, put my regular plates back on. Um, the state that we live in, you own your plates. And so if you sell the vehicle, I believe through personal sale, through trading at the dealership, um, if you gift it or whatever, you know, you're supposed to take your plate and either have them destroyed or you can have them transferred to your next vehicle. And that's what I did. So uh, sticker registration, stuff like that finally came. Um, so the transfer went through. So now I can go ahead and see if I like it, if it kind of grows on me. Because the other day, none of that stuff had came yet. So of, of course I had to take it back off. So yeah. Um, now I can piece everything together and put it back on, see how I like it for the next couple of days because I don't like sending back used stuff. Usually if I see something in person that's supposed to be put onto something else, I decide before and if I install it, that means I'm keeping it. So um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, so that's finally going to be in play too as well. It's been really awkward to get to the steering wheel cover driving without one. So I'm going to see. Um, I definitely want to cover the steering wheel because whatever they make it out of is not like the R-line. The R-line, the steering wheel cover is padded with like special stitching and stuff like that. And the regular cross sports, um, some of them don't have that. I think the R-line kind of gives it that extra attention to detail. And so your SE with tech, um, your LCL premium, you know, may not have that as well. But I think I was telling you it was kind of awkward because, okay, so let's see if I do this right. The SEL premium R-line, the serial was kind of small, but it has that nice padding and stuff. And you kind of, don't want to cover it, but it reminds me of like when you drive like a bumper car, like the steering wheel is small and it's so awkward because the SUV is a pretty good size and you're just sitting here looking at the steering wheel like, what happened, right? I mean, you don't want something as big as what goes on like a F-150 or a big rig or something like that. But if it weren't for the space on the inside and the fact that you're sitting inside an SUV, how many of you have ever test driven one, it feels like they took the, the horn off of, I don't know, a clown car or something and put it on there. And so, I'm kind of wondering about that. Um, I do have to say, depending on how you sit, if you're like me, I don't like where, when, when I'm sitting, it feels like I'm trying to see over the steering wheel. And so, I know like, you would just kind of adjust your seat, right? Some seats lift up vertically and some only tilt up right some do both but by the time you do that you want to do that before you put your seatbelt on because the seatbelt's going to be tight then you look at the steering wheel you don't want it too close to you but do you telescope it do you tilt it do you push it down you know so you start making all these adjustments and stuff like that so every vehicle is kind of different and so i'm thinking maybe they got some thinking well, I believe because of the airbag, I think that's inside of your steering wheel. I think it's in the horn, right? Um, it's safer when it's further away from what I was told. And so maybe they thought, well, this has been a slight issue that maybe they decided to address it that way. Either that or they put the wrong steering wheel on. I don't know. And then got it all nice wrapped, whatever they did to it, right? Because it looks like there's already a cover on it. And then maybe they realize like, oh, oops, this was supposed to go 
and something way smaller. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I really wish I had took a picture because I was trying not to laugh while we were on the test drive. And I did mention before we even drove off the lot. Um, so yeah, it's kind of funny to see. Um, let's see, we are at two different minutes, 16 seconds. Okay, yeah, so like it's a car, car, car stuff, right? If you're like me, you like doing all the stuff to your car. Like the part of it is to like protect the seats, things like that, you know. Um, and the floor. Yes, you have to clean the mats, just like you would have to clean the carpet on the floor. But would you rather have to vacuum and then try and get footprints out of it? Or maybe go to vacuum and just wipe the mats, it all depends. Some people get carpet mats. So I guess it's preferencing, right? I didn't think I really minded until I went away from carpet floor mats and I saw the difference. I was like, oh, okay. I think whatever material this one is, this will be interesting to see because I've never used this company before. And I've never had full coverage mats where even on the driver's side, it covers, what's that called, the footrest? It covers that too. And underneath the pedals. So very interesting. Like I said, go click on it and you'll look at it and see. And um, I looked on YouTube, just get an idea of what it looked like in other vehicles. And I went with it. So yeah. So the ones that came from Walmart, they went back. Um, but yeah. So I feel like there's something else I wanted to do to it, but I think I'm done. I'm tired of installing stuff and I'm hitting my fingers like crazy. Um, I've been having to file my nails, cut them, and as, as if they're not short already, right? So it's been an adventure. But like I said, I'm ready to just drive it in the treadmill. I don't know if you guys heard that. It just kind of did a slight pause. Has not been doing that all week. Of course, it will wait till I'm recording, right? Okay, so, mm, I wasn't gonna mention it, but since we have time, Black Friday sales, right? Uh, Walmart, I don't know if they still have them. 65 inch for 228, yeah, check it out. They still might, and you guys, the easiest thing to do, just gotta go for a pickup, so if you're, Looking for a TV is the one where you can like put the apps on and stuff like that. Um, it's a uh, TCL. So, yeah, if you're looking for one, I think they're 55 inches or what, 188 right now. And so, I don't know if that's ended, but then there's always Cyber Monday. So, just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, just in case you're looking for a TV, check out Walmart. They hopefully have some left. Uh, let's see. I think I might be able to get to the weekly notes now. And I might come back to the topic of if I can think of any other car stuff I got, anything else I've done. Um, if you guys want to know over the past few weeks, watch last week's video and then maybe the week before that, the Saturday before that and I go over where I took it for the chrome delete, everything. I didn't want the matte finish, I just, I could not do it. And so, like I said, I wanna spend three to four hours, do the chrome delete myself, and then it's not glossy like I want it. So I was like, I'm gonna let someone else do it this time. And uh, where I went to get the seatbelt covers and bordered, I talked about all that stuff. Uh, the city, the state, the name of the company, the phone number, address, all that good stuff. Okay, so check out like my past couple weeks of videos. It's just like two or three videos. And then there's another two to talk about like where we even got the Atlas from and stuff like that, the car dealership. And so there should be a total of four. Two walk videos and one for the car dealership and for Rudolph um, Volkswagen El Paso. Just lost my train of thought there. And then for Splash Detailing and uh, beyond custom okay so that will give you kind of an idea and i even showed like before and after how it was before and what what they did okay so 
if you're into, I'm gonna put a pinstripe on my car. Oh, I wanna have my whole car wrapped or things like that. Um, if you just like making it your own, putting your own little stamp on it, then check out if you want some ideas. Okay, so let's do one more time check. We're good, 29 minutes, 12 seconds. Let's go over the weekly notes. Okay, so I've been marked over here notes for 25th, which is today. Uh, let's start with day 288. It was November 19th, and that was a Sunday. I started at 9.34 a.m. speed two. Day 289 was November 20th, it's a Monday. I weighed in at 157.8. Like I said, I think that was my lowest weight this whole week. And I started at 12.38 p.m. speed two. Day 290 was November 21st. It was a Tuesday. I started at 8.33 speed two. And let's see, day 291, November 22nd, was on Wednesday. I started at 9.05 a.m. again speed two. Day 292, November 23rd was Thursday, which was Thanksgiving. I didn't walk, I wasn't feeling well. And I marked day 213, which was September 5th, video two for that day. And that left me with 28 bank days, okay? And a recap on that bank days are days where I walked for days in advance but I haven't used them yet. Okay, so usually I know specific dates I'm gonna use my double days and triple days for, and when I don't, they become bank days. So kinda like on a reserve, kinda. Okay, so uh, day 293 um, was November 24th, which was yesterday, it was Friday, and I still wasn't feeling well. So I didn't walk, so I marked day two, 14, okay, September 6th, video two, four yesterday. And like I said, today I was gonna walk and not do a video, and I was like, no, I'll go ahead and record. So that's my weekly update. So I've been keeping up with it. Um, and like I said, part of this week, starting from Monday, possibly Tuesday, no later than Wednesday, all the way at least until this coming up, like Sunday or Monday, was supposed to be those days I walked in advance, right? So I'm walking during this time, like I said, when I normally wouldn't be. Um, but what it did was, I think I set aside 10 days. Remember, I, I do two or three for hair days, and then if I have do two, hair cut, hair dye, right? Then I have an extra um, emergency day plus that week or two weeks, if they're back to back. And if not, each week gets an additional two to three days. So I told myself, well, I believe I only used five, I think, of the 10. Okay, so yesterday I might have made five or six. But that left me, of course, with either five or four days that are just gonna carry on for something else. Okay, so. I'm kind of a, a little bit ahead. I'm starting to feel a little bit of the tension though because I'm like, the rest are this amount of days for these set dates. And so I'm thinking, if anything else pops up, you guys, I might be up here walking an additional walk or two, um, probably within the next two or three weeks, just so I can stay ahead because the rest is gonna get taken up fast. Okay, so I didn't mark it, but being that I didn't watch yesterday, I'm now left with 27 bank days. So I do need to go ahead and make that note. I know I should skip two lines, I only skipped one, but I'll go ahead and squeeze that in there. That way I know. Or maybe I'll just do like a little arrow to point down to the day below to know. Or I can write right under it too, now that I think about it. Either way it goes. There won't be any more spaces in between one of those. So yeah, still looking at my notes, see how I wrote it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. I like seeing the screen. And we are at 33 minutes, 48 seconds. So um, 
motivational message, I didn't really think of one. Um, my motivational messages after this water is stuck. They um, tend to be kind of similar. They kind of just ties together. And so I don't think I have anything new. Um, mm, no, I thought of something, but that's not really me. Um, I'm around other people and that's kind of like their point of view. And it's not that I don't agree with them, it's just that it's hard for me to say that because that's hard to do. So I want to make that my motivation message. Um, I'm also trying to either live by the motivation message or it's just something that motivated me in the past, right? And so I wasn't gonna say stay positive, but you're like, you wouldn't tell me to stay positive? Yes, yes, actually I would, but I know that's not easy to do. Um, a lot of things get thrown at you in life. And so I can tell you, even if you don't have some positive things going, stay focused. Um, yeah, like I said, I always say, just my advice, you don't have to take it, but it really helps. I know that would seem kind of obvious, but so many things can throw you off track. And I don't know if you've ever had this situation. Me personally, I've had it to where I didn't even notice I was not focused. Um, I thought that it, I was for certain situations. And then I would think, well, would you have done this and this? And if I was able to say no, then I would think, oh, wow. Okay, so let me kind of take a step back and um, sometimes you have to kind of re yourself in a different direction, right? And just take bits and pieces of what you were already doing. Um, so yeah, stay focused. It's the best thing I can tell you. Um, if you have a goal and something or someone or people are taking you off of that and it's gonna lead you in a positive direction, Time is valuable. I've said it before. Um, something you can't get back, right? And so that's my motivation message, I guess. I guess I do have one. So that's what I've been trying to do. And I know I was thinking <laughs> that, not to put this down to one person, so I won't even say who this, this is, but the thought process of the person is, oh, you know, I'll do it later. And I'm the, I'm doing it right now, person. Um, if everything is in my fingertips, like say I needed this book. Okay, so what's on it? I have my pen, my highlighter, right? Okay, so you think I'm really gonna wait until I go in to write these notes? When I say I have to write it so I won't forget, no. I, I might even write it while I'm still recording. So I think, I say for me personally, if everything I need is set in place for me to do something, you know that saying, don't put off tomorrow what you can do today, isn't that the saying? I think, I don't think I have that backwards. So it's kind of like that. So I've been, trying to do that because I'll forget. Sometimes I didn't forget, I just per, uh, procrastinated. Sad to say I do work better under pressure, but I'm trying not to do that because I don't like being crunched for time. Um, I'm a, what do you call it, problem solver, a critical thinker, right? And so I've learned, yeah, but if you had a week, you need the week, take it just get it done. So that's what I've been trying to do. If I say I'm going to do something, it's to do it. And it sounds simple. It sounds like it's like obvious, even to where we used to say, duh, right? But you, you know, if you've been thrown off track, if you've been kind of like, wow, 
Um, I'm just gonna use really side sweat part stuff, kind of. Then you know what I mean. But you and whoever else is involved are the only people that are gonna take care of it. The only ones that are gonna get done. And I talk about your um, circle, and I always think to that movie too. What is that? Meet the parents, right? <laughs> I love that movie, and I'm thinking back to you know that what do you call that? <laughs> it's a Jack family circle of trust, or whatever he whatever he called it. And I laughed <laughs> when he said it, but I was like, plus I like Rob De Niro's great actor, and um, I love the characters he plays and the seriousness that he has. And I thought, but he's right. Um, I call it my A-team, right? So I've been saying that for a long time, but after a while, as you get older, at least for me personally, I'm starting to see that is very true. Besides the fact that your circle gets smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, the whole birds of a feather flock together, great minds think alike, that all starts to really come to play. You really start to see it as you get older. And so either your goals become different or you're really thinking like, I actually need to achieve them, right? I made them. And so for me, I would say my perspective changed. I would say, I don't think it's called a self sense of urgency, but a sense of urgency started to happen. And I would have to say that's also due to me getting older as well. So um, I am finding, let me go and sell this. We're at 40 minutes, 34 seconds. I can forget to read the distance in miles. This is the 1.28. Um, Distance and miles is the same thing. <laughs> I realized what I just said. I meant calories. Okay, so 137 for calories. So, uh-oh. It didn't want to stop. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stop there. But yeah, so the sense of urgency. And so overall what I've learned, like I said, for me personally, take my advice, don't take it, your choice, is everything is important. Everything is a priority. Okay, um, something that seems so small can turn into something big, and I'd rather that it be in a good way, but if it can go to where it's going to have that domino effect and it's not a good thing, you want to kind of catch it before it happens if you can. So to me personally, everything is important. It's just how important is it? How much of a priority is it? And then I just kind of go from there. So that's just how I handle things now, because for me personally, if I didn't start thinking that way. I would, I've had situations where I'm like, oh yeah, you know, whatever, that, that's fine. And I got to focus on this. And I thought, ooh, I kind of look over and think, maybe I should have made that part of my little bit of multitasking. Um, I know that some people say it's good to be able to multitask. Some people say, well, no, because I think I was reading or something like that. So it makes you more tired, you're less focused, stuff like that. And so I think the whole point was to stay focused on what you're doing, but some things kind of work together. And so you kind of have to do them somewhat at what you would call at the same time, right? And so I guess that depends on the situation. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the motivational thing. It's just stay focused. Yes, because you'll find yourself months, weeks, um, maybe a year later realizing that you still have to do whatever it was. And even if it didn't impact you in a bad way, then maybe if it could have helped kind of like propel you in a direction where you wanted to go, in a positive direction, then you might be thinking, wow, um, this year I could have been focused right on this if I had, what would be the word, implemented, added in, however you want to say that, into what I was doing. And if I had started that off a year ago, especially if it was something that was going to take about that time, maybe I could have been a little further ahead. So I always talk about progression and moving forward and stuff like that. And then I always talk about what you're surrounded by, your environment, the people you're surrounded by, things like that can impact that. So um, that's what I mean when I say stay focused. Okay, so I'm gonna get out of here because I'm gonna check my uh, tracking. Of course, I track it down to the front door. And now, I'm sorry, but they do tell you, oh, package was left at front door, package was left at mailbox, pa package was, and I read <laughs> the other day I was looking, or actually, no, today I read, I had a package that came and so I went back because I have a package coming and I didn't place another order. And so it doesn't say the name on it. It just says where it's from and I'm, I'm thinking, what is it? So kind of like a surprise type thing coming. I have no clue what it is. And um, 
I don't think my husband ordered anything either. So I was trying to think of what it was. I was going back through packages. Like, did anything come starting from this city and state to here in the past month? And nothing. Everything I went back to, all the tracking numbers, none of the information started with that um, package originating there. And so I have, like I said, no clue what it is. And so I got to one of them and it actually said package was handed directly to the customer. And I was like, wow, they're getting really, really specific, right? And so, I mean, since the information is already there, then of course, that's why I look for. Okay, so yeah, if they're going to include it, then yes, it's expected now. But I think it's something that they're going to do. And I think it's a really good thing to do. I think it's just that little extra added security. So that the person can say, well, you may have handed it to someone, but you didn't hand it to me, right? But yes, I'm going to get out of here. Plus, I'm hungry. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am. And um, okay, so I got a question for you guys. If you celebrate Thanksgiving for whatever reason, right? Um, I want to say, I think it's just, I know every day we should be thankful, right? But for me, it's just like the day where it's kind of like, you kind of focus on what you're thankful for, right? And some of you are probably thinking, oh, I do that every day. But if you don't, for me, it's just, it kind of pulls everything back into its perspective. It kind of grounds me back down. You know, they say, oh, be content or be happy with what you have. So like that, be thankful, things like that. And you, like I said, you should be every day, right? But um, it just kind of pulls everything in. And then that um, I hear of, oh, I'm going to go to my friend's house. I'm going to go to my family member's house. Oh, I haven't seen my sister in years or my brother or whatever. And I hear of people getting together and how happy it makes them. And, you know, uh, they're going to have a full stomach and stuff like that. And so they're going to enjoy the day. And um, I know that's not the case for a lot of people, but for the people that that is the case, then I'm happy for them. And I, of course, wish it was like that for everybody. So I think um, for me personally, it's not about the whole celebrating the actual day and, and all that other stuff. It's just, I'm thankful to see that for the most part, it's a joyful day, right? Okay, so yeah, that's what it is for me. Plus I love turkey and um, yeah. Those, it's like, you know, we'll call our cheat day, right? It's usually that time of the year, like where you know you're gonna put on a couple of pounds and I did pretty good. I did not stuff my face like I usually do. And um, since we stayed here and a lot of our family does not live here, we didn't like house hop. And so, um, yeah, I did pretty well. So I'm gonna try to stay on track with my weight goal as well, which is 150, by the way, if you don't know, if you just started watching my channel, yes. And so I'm so close. I am so, so close. I got, like I said, 6.3 pounds away and then my weight just started going back up and I was like, no, 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 no. And I don't, I don't know. Um, like I said, muscle weight, something, something's going on, but I'm going to get to 150. That is my goal. And if I get below it, then that's great. But like I said, you guys, I keep saying I'm going to go, but I am really going to go this time. You guys have a great day. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but if I am next week, we'll talk about it next week. All right, you guys stay safe. Bye.